in an age of lawlessness and despair. The Empire of Man lay in ruins, torn asunder by civil war, and racked by famine and plague. Desperate, unscrupulous men deserted the temples of their fathers and gathered in forbidden cults, seeking the favor of the Dark Gods. And so it was, in the year 2301, that a Kurgan warlord named Asavar Kul united the savage tribes of the Chaos Wastes and made war upon the realms of men. The invaders entered the distant northern kingdom of Kislev and sacked its largest city, Prague. They sacrificed its people to their dark gods, and any who managed to flee were driven into the freezing wilderness. The Empire seemed powerless to stop the Chaos Horde, and many feared that the end of the world was at hand. But in the Empire's darkest hour, a nobleman from the south named Magnus rallied the people of the Empire to resist the invaders, uniting the warring Elector Counts in the process. The Imperial Army marched to the rescue of the Kislevite capital, fighting Kool's army in a massive battle outside the city walls. Joined by mighty heroes from all across the land, Magnus defeated Kool in single combat, and the Chaos Horde was scattered to the winds. Blessed by the gods, and heralded as the true Emperor, Magnus returned to Nuln in triumph. But even as the old world celebrated Magnus's victory, the Dark Gods were planning their revenge. The life of a wood elf is one of tireless service to the great forest of Athel Loren, protecting it from those who would do it harm. Sometimes, however, it happens that a young Azrai is born with an urge to wander. An overpowering curiosity and a desire for adventure that will not be denied. Known as the Windborn, these wood elves can be vexing to their elders, but have the potential to become great rangers if their adventurous nature is properly harnessed. And so young Windborn are given leave to wander the wide world for a short period of time, no more than a hundred years, and to see all they can of the wider world before returning to the Athol Loren and taking up their duties. You had been wandering the old world for little more than a year when you heard the news of Asavar Kul's invasion. A human named Magnus was raising an army to drive back the Horde. It sounded like an epic adventure, the very thing you'd left the Athol Loren to find. And so you crossed the depths of the Great Reichwald to find the Imperial Army. That night, you slipped into the army camp and made your way to Magnus's tent, where you offered your services as a scout. Impressed by your skill, Magnus accepted and made you a part of his growing retinue. Thus began your first great adventure, guiding the growing human army across the Empire and into the frozen lands of the North. 
the great battle outside the walls of Kislev was more terrible than you could have imagined. You kept close to Magnus during the fight, and joined him in the heroic charge that slew the Chaos Lord and turned the tide of the battle. After the battle was won and the dead put to rest, you returned with Magnus to the city of Nome, where a hero's welcome awaited you. But the noise and bustle of the human city has begun to wear on you, and the urge to wander has taken hold again. As the sun sets over Nome, you wonder if the time has come to leave the city and seek a new adventure elsewhere. It was an age of lawlessness and despair. A time of dark magic, treachery, and war. It is a night made for witchery and evil deeds. And across the city, guardsmen clutch their weapons tightly and count the hours until the dawn. Sleep is hard to come by on a night such as this. The air is tense, and memories of the battle at Kislev leave you restless and on edge. Suddenly, a peal of thunder shatters the stillness, followed by a howling wind that shakes the tower to its foundations. Foul magic curdles the air, and screams echo in the courtyard outside. The tower is under attack! Something's happening in the courtyard. If it's trouble, the guards might need help. is here. I must get to the throne room and protect Magnus. Thanks, Sigma, you're here. There's monsters everywhere. The tower's being overrun! I'll deal with them. You have my oath on it. Where is Magnus? Upstairs in the throne room. There's armor in a chest by the stairs. Take whatever you need, but hurry!
As you reach the throne room, the air seethes with foul magics. The Chaos Sorceress stands before the throne, and Magnus, the savior of the Empire, is caught within her spell. There is only one thing left to do. Shouting an oath to the gods of the forest, you ready your blades and rush to save the future Emperor. By the time you regain your senses, the battle is over. The Sorceress is gone, leaving you and Magnus for dead. The shouts of angry men fill the throne room. But these are not guardsmen. They are witch hunters. The Empire's feared inquisitors, led by none other than the infamous Heinrich Voss. You are under arrest for the murder of the Emperor Magnus. Voss declares, I'm trying to tell him about the sorceress, but Voss refuses to listen. I see no sorceress here. Only you, the group of dead men. Confess your crimes, elf. Boss threatens. We will have the truth from you one way or another. After a week in the dungeons, you'll tell me everything I want to know. But before the witch hunter could make good on his threat, a commanding voice filled the room. Stop this madness at once! Teclis, Lore Master of the High Elves, regards Voss coldly. Alessa has told you the truth, he said. It is you who have refused to listen. Teclis examines Magnus in silence. He lives, thank the gods, the High Elf says at last. But he is in the grip of a powerful curse. It is only a matter of time before he succumbs. No one outside this room must know what happened here. If the people learn that Magnus has fallen, then everything he fought for will have been for nothing. The fate of the Empire lies in our hands. We must find this sorceress and end the curse before it's too late. If Magnus dies, the Empire dies with him. There are dark and terrible forces at work in the city. If we are to find the sorceress and defeat her, we must confront the dark cult that has taken root in Nuln and expose its secret master. There is nowhere in this forest of stone that they can hide from me. By shadow and steel, the cult will pay for what it's done. I saw you fight at Kislev, young Asrai. Your loyalty and courage is not in doubt, but be wary and do not underestimate your foes. They are more treacherous than you can imagine. What is your command? The attack on the tower came from the sewers that stretch beneath the city. So long as the enemy controls the tunnels surrounding the tower, our position here is vulnerable. Your first task is simple. Enter the tunnels and drive the cultists back from the tower. Kill everything in your path, but beware. There is no telling what foul things await you in the darkness.
I have hunted the foe in the reeking depths, High Law Master. The tower is safe for now, but there are signs of still more enemies lurking deeper in the sewers. I do not doubt it. The servants of Nurgle flourish in darkness and filth. Our battle against the cult has only just begun. You have done well, Elessa. Return to me when you are ready for your next task. There is grim news from the tower. Voss has learned that a large group of Magnus' guardsmen have gone missing. He believes they might have pursued the cultists into the sewers during the attack. A bold move, but a foolish one. If they haven't returned by now, they are surely lost. Someone needs to find them and try to get them out. If the cultists haven't trapped them yet, it's...
more time.
must first recharge energy.
damned cultist lured us into a trap. Tried to fight, but too many of them. Rest easy, warrior. You're safe now. They took them, and I was still able to walk, dragged them, screaming, into the darkness. Forget about me. Find the others. It is as we feared, High Law Master. The soldiers had been lured into an ambush. Most were slain, but a few had fallen into the hands of the enemy. The men were alive when they were taken? So I was told. But to what purpose? What does the cult need with prisoners? Not prisoners, young Asrai. Sacrifices. Offerings to the Lord of Pestilence in exchange for more power. We must do everything we can to prevent this. Go and make whatever preparations you require. 